Have you ever wondered how iron is extracted from its ore? Iron is extracted from its ore in a blast furnace. What is a blast furnace? How iron is extracted using a blast furnace? Come, let us find out. Let us take a look at the different parts of blast furnace and study their function. The blast furnace is a huge furnace used to extract metal from their compound using a suitable reducing agent. It is a tall chimney-like structure about 30 to 40 meter tall and 10 meter wide at the base. It is a narrow at the top, increasing diameter downward but narrowing again near the bottom. The bottom portion is called the hearth. It is lined with fire resistance bricks. At the top of the furnace is a cup and cone arrangement. This arrangement is called for the introducing of the charge which is a mixture of coke, concentrated iron ore and limestone. The furnace has three outlet, an exhaust gas outlet at the top for the hot waste gases and two outlet at the base for discharging molten metal and slag. The gas discharge from the gas outlet is passed through a dust catcher to remove suspended particles and then fed to the stuffs. To the heat, the air that is born into the furnace at the bottom of the furnace. There are two nozzles called tweers. Through with hot air is blown into the furnace, this process is called blasting and that is why furnace is known as a blast furnace. So now we are learn about working principle of blast furnace. Ore is mixed with coke and limestone. The charge is brought by trolleys or skip cars over conveyor system and introduced into the blast furnace through the cup and cone arrangement. Simultaneously, a blast of hot air is blown into the furnace. To the tweers at the base of the furnace, the hot air causes the coke in the lower region of the furnace to burn reducing carbon dioxide and a larger amount of heat. This region is called the zone of combustion as the combustion of coke takes place here. The temperature in this region reaches around 2000 degrees Celsius. The carbon dioxide rises and reacts with the unburdened coke to form carbon monoxide at the same time. The heat causes the limestone present in the charge to decompose and form quick lime. In carbon dioxide, the reduction of carbon dioxide and the decompose of limestone are endothermic reaction. Owing to this, the temperature of this region falls to about 1000 degrees Celsius. Calcium oxide or quick lime fuses with impurities such as silicon dioxide, deform liquid calcium silicate and molten slag. The slag flows to the bottom of the furnace and floats on top of the molten iron. This is tapped periodically into ladles for disposal. Since slag is produced in this middle region, this region is called the zone of fusion. The temperature of the upper region of the furnace is around 400 to 700 degrees Celsius. In this region, the descending charge is exposed to the action of carbon monoxide streaming up from the lower part of the blast furnace. Carbon monoxide reduces ferric oxide to iron. The iron so produced is a spongy porous solid as reduction of iron oxide take place in this region. This region is called zone of reduction. As the iron descends down through the hotter region of the furnace, it melts lower down the furnace where temperature is high and unreduced core is reduced directly by carbon. The molten iron collects at the bottom of the furnace and is tapped periodically. It is pulled into sand molds and allowed to cool and solidify. The iron obtained from blast furnace is brittle and is called big iron. The unused carbon monoxide along with nitrogen from the hot air and carbon dioxide passed through the outlet at the top and into the dust catcher which removes dust and other particles. The dust free gases mixture is burned in a special burner and the heat produced is used to heat and air that is blown into the furnace.